Okay, my manager just approved me to build this Quaker Universal shipper. Now, it's one display because it's one shipper, but I do have a couple of different items on here. I have some breakfast cookies by Quaker, and then also some oat squares ready to eat cereal. How do I report that in the iPad? Here's how. I'm going to select the Quaker oat squares as product number one. That's the majority of what's on the shipper. I, I'm going to put it under the merchandising type of NAN shipper universal product number one. Enter the quantity of two cases built to incremental display or rack. Now, how do I capture those breakfast cookies? Here's how. I take the item. I put it as NAN shipper universal product number two because it's the second product that I have on that universal shipper. I put about two cases on the shipper and I note it as cases built to incremental. Now I've captured all the cases built to that display and the display credit's gonna go under product number one for oat squares along with the photo to verify the build. In my next example, I have some Quaker oatmeal, hot cereal. I have a stack of instant Quaker oats and then also the standard Quaker oats. If I built this one display, because it is one, it's all hot cereal, how would I report that? Here's how. I'm gonna select the Quaker instant oatmeal, apple cinnamon, and note that as display product number one. I stacked up seven cases built to incremental display, but I also added the standard Quaker oats, the tubes for product number two, seven cases to built incremental display. Again, this is captured as one display, but with two products on it for hot cereal. The photo again goes with the product number one only in order to verify the display. Now, what if I walked into that call and that instant Quaker oatmeal stack was already there and then I added the standard Quaker oats to it? How would I report that? It's still one display because it's all oatmeal, but here's how I would report it. The instant Quaker oatmeal product number one was already one existing display. The standard Quaker oats that I added to it is a second product of seven cases I added to an existing display. Make sense? Okay. Let's try one more. <clears throat> in this example, I walk in and the supervisor there, the, the manager of the store says, you have a bunch of Gatorade in the back, some Izzy and Propel. I'd like you to merchandise all of that onto an end cap for me. That's great. How many builds can I get out of using this end cap for all those different pack sizes and items? <clears throat> Here's how. Gatorade six packs is a separate category, well, excuse me, a separate pack size for Gatorade. So that's one display. This 32 ounce shelf is yet another display. Then you have eight packs, four packs of Izzy, and also six packs of Propel. Here's how you're gonna want to report that. Since it's five different displays, I'm gonna select product one for each one of those displays. Because it's an end cap, I'm not using any of the <clears throat> NAND provided tools as far as shippers and racks, it truly is just a display. It's an end cap. So the first entry here is six packs for Gatorade, display product number one, five cases built to incremental. Take a photo to verify. The second entry is yet another display. This one, th Gatorade 32 ounce, display product one, five cases built, and photo, and so on through the pack sizes of Gatorade. You also see an entry for four packs of Izzy and six pack of Propel all separate displays deciphered by selecting product number one. The only time we use product number two and three is when we have different items within the same category and the same display. Make sense? Okay. Before I leave that call, I wanna get a few more cases of net revenue. So I build this nice bandolier of whey protein bars with Gatorade and I tag it. How would I report building that bandolier on this call? Here's how. In Arts Touch, I'm actually gonna start from my activity summary screen. Now, I don't have my scanner with me, so here's how you do a manual entry. I'm gonna go to the isotonics category and select the distribution box. There was nothing flagged for me in this call, so I'm gonna take that filter on work flagged and select all items. From there, now I can find the Gatorade bars and start reporting on building that bandolier. Here's one. Gatorade Recovery Whey Protein Bar Chocolate Chip, Chocolate Pretzel. I open it up by selecting, by tapping on the, dis the description screen, and then I can also here select Merchandising. Now I have the item populated. I'm going to go ahead and select Built Bandolier. So that would be a clip strip or powder rack. So I select that. 
I put 10 units into that new bandolier, excuse me, and this I built on the call. Now, I didn't build a display. I built a clip strip powder rack. So we have to really watch which items we select here for the type and the unit of measure and really verify, did I report that right? I think I did. Good job. Okay. Now, what if I had this bandolier up and in, instead of building it, I'm just adding th three units to an existing clip strip. Here it is, units added to clip strip. I didn't build it, but I'm adding units. All those units are going to add up to net revenue cases, packing more punch for your calls. Thank you.